uh, we're going to be making a uh, example of a kind of like brute force password hacker type thing, um, and it's really really simple, and it just uses a uh, couple of uh, nested uh, for loops to um, check one list against another, and um, it might not be exactly how you do a brute force attack, but it is um, kind of a good example of uh, how one might look. So let's just get on with it straight away. So we're going to do a couple of things to make it a little, look a little bit more interesting as well. Um, um, uh, so first things first, in order to do that, I'm going to import our time, and this is going to actually um, going to use this to actually time how long a uh, password takes to crack and things like that. And then we're going to use a, uh, uh, we're going to create a function here, and it's going to be called password cracker, and we're going to pass it a password. Now we're going to create a variable called start time. And it's going to equal time dot time. And what we'll do, so time dot time, this function here, it basically creates a, a flag um, at the current time. And then what we will do is we'll get another flag at the end of it, and then we'll work up the elapsed time from these two flags by minusing one from the other. Um, but we'll go through that in just a second. Now in order for any brute force attack to actually be successful, we need to run it against a dictionary. So in this case, what I'm going to do, so uh, you can make this dictionary however long or short you like. All I'm going to do in my case is I'm going to uh, write every letter of the alphabet in capital um, uh, with speech marks around it. Um, and then next to it, I'm going to just do the lowercase version of it as well. Okay, so what this is going to do is our password um, dictionary here is going to search uh, every uppercase, every lowercase. I might chuck a couple of common symbols in it as well, and um, uh, and then it will check those against the uh, against the password that it's been given to uh, work out if uh, if any of the positions match. Um, so I'm going to fill in my dictionary now, and then um, we'll come back to this in a second. So I've just finished my uh, dictionary here, and as you can see, it's quite big. Uh, so all it is is every uppercase letter of the alphabet and then every lowercase alphabet, letter of the alphabet. And if we go right along the end to the, to the end here, you'll see, it doesn't matter what order it is, so you can do all uppercase, then all lowercase if you wanted to. And then right at the end here, all I've done is I've put in a space, exclamation mark, at mark, and then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and zero as well. So this password cracker will be able to um, Look at any password with uh, Western letters in, uppercase, lowercase. The two symbols it can recognize are an exclamation mark and, a, uh, and an at symbol. And it's got every number from 1, uh, one 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and z 9, and 0. And it's got spaces in as well. So that's our dictionary, okay? Um, if you don't want to write it all out yourself, you can get it from the GitHub files as well, okay? So make sure, um, something I just had to do there, was go right the way to the end of my dictionary and press enter to be able to get down to the next line because idle's a bit funny like that there. So what we're going to do, we're going to create a new list here called letter. It's going to be an empty list like that. And we are then going to create a variable and we're going to call it a P word. Um, and that is going to equal the password which gets passed to it here. Okay, so whatever is in there gets passed into here. Um, and we're going to need that in, in just a second. Um, what I now need to do is an end create a for loop. I'm going to do for x in range. And I'm going to go from 0 to the length of p word. So basically this first one here starts at uh, whatever password, the first position of password here, and it's going to go around each of the letters in password. Um, so we're going to go for X in that range, so it will check each letter. But it has to check each letter against each position in the dictionary. So we're going to check each letter in password against each position in the dictionary. So this next one here, we're going to do for Y in range and we're going to do 0, and this one here is going to be for the length of the dictionary. So what's going to happen is basically my two for loops, um, my first 
um, one here is going to stop at the first uh, position and then we're going to check that first position against every single item in the dictionary. Once we've gone through every single item in the dictionary, we'll then increment this loop here which will go to the next position and then we'll check that against every item in the dictionary and then the next position and we check that against every item in the dictionary and we go round and round until both of the, these lengths, or in fact until this length is complete, or sorry this for loop is complete, which means that we've checked every position in the word against every position position in the dictionary. I hope that makes sense. It will start making sense when we start running it. So if our P word position X is the same as dictionary Y position Y then that means we've got a match. So what happens so we're basically saying here is the position you're looking at at the moment in my password is the same as the position in the dictionary we've got a match so take that position in the dictionary and append it to this letter list which I'm making okay and that will uh, become uh, clear in a second so letter dot append and then what we're going to append to it is whatever we've just found in the dictionary which matches dictionary and then why Um, and I'm just missing a bracket there. And then we're going to, just so that we can see what's happening, we'll print out a letter as well. And for everything else, we'll just print letter so that we're just not staring at a blank screen, doing nothing for a while. Um, so what happens here, so like I just said that if we find a, uh, if we find a match, so if the position in password matches any, any of the positions in dictionary, we take that letter it matches and we add it to our letter list, which we make here. And then as we go round, we'll keep adding to the end of that list. So we'll build that password out. So that's what a pen does. It adds to the end of the list. And then just for L, you don't need this bit here, but it just, you'll see in a second when we start running it, it'll just print um, where we're up to um, for every uh, iteration of the loop. Um, and then once we are done, we're going to print out the whole password. Um, so the whole sort of password is actually going to be stored in letter. Pretty better word, pretty could have used a better word for um for the letter list, but it doesn't matter right now. And then we're going to print out the amount of time that it took. So we work that out by doing the end time equals time dot time. Okay, and that sets another flag. So we set a flag here, if you remember, and then this one takes the current time again. So we've got these two flags. And then what we do is we do the elapsed time equals the end time minus the start time. Okay, so that will give us the amount of seconds that have passed. And then we're going to print out that took elapsed time seconds. So we can see, um, maybe seconds to crack. So we can see how long it takes us to do. Okay, so uh, all we need to do now is we just need to call the program uh, with a with a password for it to crack. So uh, let's call it here, so password cracker. And then we just, in speech marks, we give it a password to crack. So let's give it the password um, uh, code. There we go, something nice and simple to start. So uppercase C, and then we're gonna run this, and we're gonna make sure that we save it as well. And let's see if it does it. Okay, so now we can see it's testing every single one of these ones here. Uh, unfortunately, here I've obviously made an issue. I've made a mistake with end time. I've done capital I, so there's no, there's a problem there. So let's do that again. Um, I also think that I've put all of this in the wrong place. I have indeed. All of this needs to be de-dented by one. So I'm going to highlight all of that. So at the moment, it's actually happening in that for loop. So that's what happened straight away after that first. Uh, first bit which we didn't want to happen so this actually needs to be in line with this bit here so this for loop here okay now that I've done that we should be good to go 
So there we go, we've hit the C. Hopefully it'll go around to the next item in the list here. Uh, so it's found the O as well, and it's found the D. And if it finds, there we go, so it's found the E. Now we have to complete both loops now to finish it, but it finishes it and it tells us that took 15 seconds to crack. So we can give much more complicated passwords. Um, so if we did something like this, this is going to take a lot longer to crack. So there we go, so that one there, that took 79 seconds to crack. Okay, so you can play around with this a bit more, you could maybe do it so the whole thing works in a, like an input statement, you could have it so it says like uh, input, and then you have it, uh, you know, type your password now, and then you pass that password in here instead. Um, it's entirely up to you how you do that, okay? So I hope you got a lot out of that, and obviously if you want to make this more robust, you can add more, um, more letters into your dictionary here, but bear that in mind, the more letters you add to your dictionary, the longer it will take you to actually brute force a password, okay? So that's just a little example of how a brute force attack uh, might happen, how it might look. So have a play around with that and let me know how you get on.